definition. A rabbit taking a shower. Solution, hairspray. And our solution to fun with the fun on television is definition. And now let's have some fun with the star of our show, Jim Perry. Hi, thank you, Dave Duvall. Hello there. Welcome to Definition. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you for spending part of it with us. We crowned five-time champions yesterday. We have two new teams out here. Let's meet the first one right now. David? A daughter and mother team, Wendy and Eleanor Wary. Hello there, Mother Eleanor, daughter Wendy. Nice to see you again. We got acquainted. We started to get into the match, but we didn't get that first one, so we're starting fresh. Are you confident and ready to go? Yes. All right, Wendy? I guess. All right, good <laughs> luck, and we will meet the opposition. A husband and wife team, Jean-Paul and Leslie Blanchard. Hi there, Leslie. Jean-Paul, nice to see you again. Thank you. you are all set to go? Pretty well. All right, so Leslie <laughs> takes a deep breath, and here we go. We play the best three out of five, and we will start with this definition. Three misfortunes on a ship that isn't mine. Now, that's strange. Three misfortunes on a ship that is not mine. Mine. <laughs> We're starting fresh, so we'll start over here with John Paul to give a letter away. The Z. There is no Z, and Leslie, you can take a letter. I'll take a E, please. There are three E's. They go at the end of this word, this word, and this word. You put a letter up there. Either of you could give me a guess. Do you know three misfortunes on a ship that isn't mine? And... Hello there. Ah, there we, we go. When, short naps are wonderful, aren't they? Wendy, give a letter away. X. There's no X. Take a letter, Eleanor. Um, Take a letter. O. Wow, well, there were three E's. There are five O's. That's going to fill in a lot of spaces, giving you an O in each of the, letter, each of the words. Do either of you know three misfortunes on a ship that isn't mine? Row, whoa, 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 your boat? Yes, indeed, that's what it is. Whoa, 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 your boat, yes. Switching on the row, row. Yeah, I, I think you quickly jumped in there, Eleanor. I thought that's... she said row, and I wanted to well, say it before you're, she You're did. right, it's whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, misfortune is whoa. Whoa, 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 not mine, your boat. We'll be back right after this commercial timeout. Well, we'll get back to the match, but first, Dave will tell us about the runner-up prizes, and I hope it comes with two sets of keys. The compact T-Fal Mini Fryer with charcoal filter and locking lid fries safely without cooking odors or splatters, complete with fondue forks from T-Fal Bicep. Or a set of pens, compliments of totes. Salty slush can wreck good leather shoes. Wear light, comfortable, easy to put on totes and protect them. Totes, keep your shoes nice and dry. It is one to nothing, favor Eleanor and Wendy, Leslie and Jean-Paul. You could tie up the match with this definition. Deciding whether to get married. <laughs> this is good, too. Deciding whether or not to get married. A lot of little words in this one, and your trailing will start with you. Leslie, give a letter away this time. I'll give away an X. There is no X, and Jean-Paul to take a letter. An O. There are four O's. Again, that multiple letter, which often helps because you fill in spaces. There's the third. Here's the fourth. Your first crack at tying up the match. Do you know deciding whether to get married? To do... Uh, no. uh, thought he might have an idea. Over to Eleanor. Give one away. Uh, Q. No Q. Take one, Wendy. An E. There are two E's. One E that goes here. Here is the second with those six vowels. Do either of you know deciding whether to get married? To be or not to be? That is incorrect. Over to Leslie to give a little. They were so sure. <laughs> Leslie, so you're still in it. Give one away. I'll give away a U. There is no U. Take a letter, Jean-Paul. A T. T is in Thomas. Three T's. Here they come. One T, the second T, and the third. Do you know to tie up the match deciding whether to get married? To me or not to me? That is incorrect. Over to Eleanor to give a letter away. <laughs> um, give away a Z. No Z. Wendy, take a letter. W. Yeah, it is a W. There are two W's. There's the second one. <laughs> Missing two letters. Do you know deciding whether to get married? To we or not to we? Yeah, you better say it. You're right. <laughs> 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 you were so sure. Don't, can't decide whose turn it is to talk there. 
You were, yes, you, you all had the phrase where you're switching on to be or not to be. If you decide whether to get married, you decide whether or not we're going to become a couple, whether going, you and I are going to become a we. To we or not to we. I hear a young baby out there brings a whole new meaning to that phrase, doesn't it? Yes. It is two to nothing, baby, Eleanor and Wendy. Here's the next definition. Saddened by the passing of summer. Ah, oh, saddened by the passing of summer. You need this to stay in the match? John Paul, give a letter away. Zed. No Zed. Leslie, to take a letter. I'll take an A. An A, did you say? Mm -hmm. No A. No letter on the board. No guess. It's saddened by the passing of summer. Wendy, to give a letter away. X. No X. Take a letter, Eleanor. An E. There are three E's. Two, three of them in the same word. Here, here, and here. And you can win with this. Do you know saddened by the passing of summer? Thought they had an idea. Over to Jean Paul. Give one away. You. Uh oh. <laughs> Is you in that solution? Giving your opponents a free guess with the letter U. Wendy and Eleanor, do you know saddened by the passing of summer? Still your turn. That was a free guess. Wendy, give one away. Uh, why? No why. Take one, Eleanor. An S. S is in Sam. One S, very importantly, at the beginning of the word. Again, you can win if you know saddened by the passing of summer. Back over to Jean Paul. Got away with that one. Give it away, Jean Paul. Uh, K. This time a good choice. No K, and Leslie can take a letter. I'll take a D. D is in dog. No D. No, no letter, no guess. Back to Wendy. Give one away. V. V is in Victor is a good choice. Eleanor, take a letter. Take a letter. T. T is in Thomas. One T. One T that goes here. Do you know for the win, saddened by the passing of summer? Back we go to Jean Paul Blanchard. Give one away. W. No W. Wife Leslie to take a letter. I'll take in B as in Bob. There is one B as in Bob, and it goes right here. Does that give you pa saddened by the passing of summer? September blues? Incorrect. Worth a try, but you only get the one yes over to Wendy to give one away. J. No J. Take one, Eleanor. An R. R is in Robert. Two R's. One at the end of this word. The second one here. Do you know saddened by the passing of summer? September hours? Incorrect. Over to Jean Paul. <laughs> Give the letter away. Bet you know it at home. Give it away, Jean Paul. C. C is in Charles. No C. Leslie, take a letter. I'll take an L. L is in La Leslie. No L. Mm. No guess. That's three times. You haven't been able to get a guess. Wendy, give one away. An I. There is no I. Take a letter, Eleanor. An O. One O. One O that goes here for the win. Saddened by the passing of summer. Time. Let's don't say anything now. Let's take a look at the board. If you're playing along at home, F, G, H, M, N, P, and Q. That's all that's left. Jean Paul, give one of those letters away. Okay. G. G is in George. No G. Leslie, take a letter. I'll take an M. M is in Mary. There are two M's. Here's one. Here's the second for your first definition. Saddened by the passing of summer. September morn. That's it. Right. September morn. Yeah. <laughs> You all right away had that uh, the summer, the end of summer, of course, September, but saddened, you're in mourning, M-O-U-R-N, saddened by the passing of summer, September morn, it is now a two to one, yes? You could still win with this one, Leslie and John Paul, you could tie up the match with this definition. Fickle admirer. Fickle admirer, might be kind of tricky. Fickle admirer, you're still trailing, so we'll start with you. Leslie, give one away. I'll give away a Z. No Z. John Paul to take a letter. E. No E. No letter on the board, no guess. Fickle admirer. We are over to Eleanor this time to give letters away. Um, Q. No Q. Take a letter, Wendy. A. Three A's. One by itself, one in this word, and the second in the middle of this word. Fickle admirer. And over to Leslie. Give a letter away. I'll give away a W. No W. Take one, Jean-Paul. 
S. S is in Sam. No S. No guess. Eleanor, think of a letter. X. No X. Take one, Wendy. M. M is in Mary. No N. No guess. I thought this might play kind of tough. Fickle admirer. That's what we're looking for. Give one away, Leslie. I'll give away an F. F is in Frank. That's oh, a bad doing? one. Yeah, you're giving them one that's in the solution, going right smack at the beginning of the word. Wendy and Eleanor with a free guess at fickle admirer. Still your turn. Give one away, Eleanor. Um, a J. No J. Take one, Wendy. An R. R is in Robert. One R. Going at the beginning of this word. For the win, do you know fickle admirer? Oh, get away with that one, Leslie. We are back to you to give a letter away again. I'll give away a K. This time you made a good choice, no K, and John Paul can take a letter. N. N is in Nancy. Well, you finally got one up there so you can take a guess. You're going to get two N's. Here's one. Here's the other one that you expected. You can tie up the match if you know fickle admirer. And back over to Eleanor to give a letter away. A V. V is in Victor. No V. Wendy to take a letter. G. G is in George. There is one G going at the end of this word. Do you know fickle admirer? Back we go to the Blanchards and Leslie to give one away. Oh dear. <laughs> Those are the letters, not too many, and you've got to give one of them away. I'll give away a Y. And you made a good choice with no Y and John Paul to take one of those last ten letters. I'll take a, a T. T is in Thomas, two T's. Here is one T. Here is the second, missing two letters to tie up the match. Fickle admirer. A rotating fan. That's the phrase, a rotating fan. We've got a tie. Yes. Very, very tricky. You all had fan right away. I knew when you took that end that you had the word fan, but fickle, can't make up his mind. Keeps going back and forth, back and forth. Fickle, rotating. That's what, that's what that had in common. Well, with a great comeback from the Blanchards, we are tied at two to two. And this one definition will decide the championship. How the Roman sculptor was preserved. And boy, what a championship definition came up next in the pile. How the Roman sculpture was preserved. They got the last one. We start over here. Wendy, give a letter away. Z. That's not a good way to start. There is a Z in that solution. Right away, a free guess with a great letter for Leslie and John Paul. Do you know how the Roman sculpture was preserved? Still your turn. That was a free guess, of course. John Paul, give a letter away. X. No X. Take a letter, Leslie. I'll take an S. S is in Sam. One S. One S that goes here. First crack at the championship. How the Roman sculpture was preserved. He was freeze dry. Incorrect. Over to Wendy to give a letter away. No, no, no. That was inadvertently given. I'm going to have to throw that out. His answer was he was freeze dried. And it, oh no, they made a mistake up top. Sorry about that. How the Roman sculpture was preserved. It, it's not a he, it was freeze dried. And incidentally, a freeze, of course, that's a horizontal strip that runs between the cornice and the uh, arch trave, it says here. Either plain or decorated with sculpture or scrolls. Do you care? We'll be right back and play the championship <laughs> definition right after this. We'd like you to join us as part of our studio audience, or if you'd like to be a contestant, just drop a line to Definition, CFTO TV, Box 9, Station O, Toronto, Ontario, M4A, 2M9, Jim. I thank you. Yeah, we're just talking about that uh, with the studio audience, and we had a we had a drawing, right? And the, the, the mother said to her daughter, she was going to do the poem. She said, "You better pull mine," and she did. Pulled her ticket. You got what? An electric can opener. That's terrific. That's a nice little door prize. So if you don't have the courage to come down here and play, at least come down and join us in the studio. We'd love to see you. Tied at two to two, if you have the courage, boy, you need it right now because it all comes down to this definition. What an obstetrician plays to make money. What an obstetrician plays to make money. It is your turn to start first. Eleanor, give one away. Z. No Z. Wendy, to take a letter. B. B as in boy. Nope. They scared that idea. She had an idea, too. No guess. Leslie, you're first to give away. Give away. Okay. There is 
There are two K's. Oops, says Dave, and he's right. There are two K's, and Wendy and Eleanor are big free guests. What an obstetrician plays to make money. Still your turn. Eleanor, give one away. X. There is no X. Wendy, to take a letter. O. There is one O. One O that goes right here. You can win with this. Do you know what an obstetrician plays to make money? Back we go to Leslie. Give one away. Give away a V. V is a victor. This time there is no V, and John Paul can take a letter. L. L is in Larry. No L. He had no idea on that one. Over to Eleanor to give one away. Oh, um, J. No J. Take one, mm. Wendy. R. R is in Robert. Good choice with two R's. Here is one R. Here is the second. Do you know what an obstetrician plays to make money? Back we go to the Blanchards and Leslie to give one away. Give away an F. F is in Frank. No F. Take one, John Paul. I'll take an S. S is in Sam. One S. It goes at the beginning of the word. Do you know what an obstetrician plays to make money? The stork market? Yes, indeed. You're the champions. That's what it is. Not the stock market, the stork market. Obstetrician with the stork. Well, a tough match, and as a matter of fact, you came down, came back from two to nothing, right? Got three in a row. The Blanchards are the champions, and they win this prize. Come home to Crailer quality with this cloverleaf table from the Chelsea collection of occasional tables. Elegant styling and custom crafted from maple solids and rich cherry veneers. And we will play the bonus for cash in a few moments. We have to say goodbye to Wendy and Eleanor, but actually we're going to, not going to say goodbye. We're going to say so long to you we, uh, because you, we will invite you back. We must assume whenever something like that happens, and it can happen occasionally, that it was freeze-dried or he was freeze-dried. On the assumption that you might have gotten that and won the match, we will invite you back, right? So you get a nice parting gift for joining us today, and do, you will come back. You'll be invited back as a team to compete again very shortly, okay? So we'll look forward to seeing you. We want to give you every opportunity. You're a very good team. So we'll see you a little bit later. Eleanor and Wendy Wary, thank you. That's the only fair thing to do. You never know who was going to win that match. It's uh, possible after you said it was freeze-dried, he was freeze-dried, they might have turned right around and said it was freeze-dried. So giving them the benefit of the doubt, we will, of course, invite them back. But uh, right now, you came out on top. We congratulate you. Try to pick up some cash with this bonus definition. What the Sunshine Boys were. What the Sunshine Boys were. What the Sunshine Boys were. Do you know it for $180? Sunshine Boys. All right, here come the letters. Huh? Is that where? What the Sunshine Boys were. What the Sunshine Boys She was leaning over like I thought she was going to shoot. Would you like to show me your card? No, I can't do that. No. All right, here come the letters. They come alphabetically for $170. There's your first letter. Well, we can talk that Sure, okay. I, yeah, you can talk, it often helps. Singers. What the Sunshine Boys were. Sunshine. 140. Oh, we're out here in the sunshine. <laughs> the Sunshine Boys. Yes, indeed. 110. Now what's now? $100. Friends. Yeah? I'm fair, fair weather friends. You got it for $90. Fair weather friends. Sunshine boy. Out in the fair weather. Got yourself $90 out of that. And uh, yeah, you were thinking of the movie or something. Yeah, There's singers. The no, fair weather friends. We're going straight ahead with that. <laughs> that is the first win for the Blanchards if they become five-time champions. Then they will get this. From Royal Dalton, four five-piece play settings in the Rhodes pattern. Fine bone china, magnificently embellished with a classically elegant design. New team making themselves comfortable. David, who are they? Well, Jim, this is a cousin combination. I'd like you to meet Michael Fletcher and Penny McClure. Hello there, Penny. Michael, nice to have you both here. Let's see, let us get acquainted. Uh, Penny, you are an administrative assistant. You like sports, downhill skiing. Uh, you hide your night school education from your father. Well, wh why would you do that? I thought well, you'd be proud of your education. Well, actually, I decided this year that I would take some art courses. And uh, my father is an artist, and I decided not to tell him because he would probably be very upset. But then when I got into the courses and I found out how expensive everything is, I finally broke down and told him so that he could give me some of the equipment. 
Oh, yeah, that equipment's expensive. Why, why would you think he'd be upset? Because you were... Well, I, I thought that maybe he'd be the one that wanted to show me how to oh, do everything. Oh, I see. He's some, very yeah. good. And... Yeah, I think you're, you're probably very wise to yeah. avoid it. Yeah, you don't want the fights. And the, Penny, I told you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you're an accountant. You like sports, computer work, handyman. You got married in an unusual place. Yes. Um, my wife and I got married on the Toronto Island Ferry. On a boat. Really? Yes. What, what prompted that? Well, we wanted to get married outdoors, and when you do that, you have to have an alternative inside. And uh, my wife thought of the idea, uh, of the idea, and I think we were the first people to do it because uh -oh. we hit the front page of one of the newspapers. Yeah. Has it been smooth sailing ever since? Yes, it has. Oh, good. Been. Oh. 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 Never mind. Oh. <laughs> Let's start the match <laughs> with this definition. People need to breathe. People need to breathe. People need to breathe. This is very good. We'll start with you, Michael. Give a letter away. Uh, give away a Z. There is no Z. Penny, you can take a letter. Take an I. There are two I's, one in the middle of this three-letter word, one at the beginning of this two-letter word. Do either of you know people need to breathe? And we're over to Jean-Paul. Give a letter away. X. No X. Take a letter, Leslie. I'll take a T. T is in Thomas, one T at the beginning of this two-letter word. People need to breathe. Back to the challengers and Michael to give a letter away. Um, give away a J. No J, take a letter, Penny. Take an R. R is in Robert, one R, one R that goes here. Do you know people need to breathe? Back to the champs, John Paul, give one away. There's a signal, time is up, will we complete the turn? Give the last letter away. W. No W, take the last letter, Leslie. I'll take an N. N is in Nancy, there is one N, one N that goes here, the only ones that have a crack at it. Do you know people need to breathe? To air is, oh. Time, oh, she said everything but the last word. People need to breathe, to air is human. <laughs> It didn't look like there was another Oh, you should have said it. <laughs> no more scores. We'll be right back. <laughs> you said everything with the last word. <laughs> that is about all the time we have for now. We'll start the whole thing all over again tomorrow on Definition. Prizes on Definition include the Minolta Freedom 200 Compact 35mm Autofocus Camera that's ready when you are. Now Minolta brings it all together for you with one incredible camera. Or a selection of products from Remington, featuring the microscreen and Lady Remington his and hers cordless rechargeable shavers, the cordless travel shaver, and the Travel Plus hair dryer. Promotional consideration provided by Vision's Range Top Cookware by Corning. Withstands heat that turns ordinary saucepans into sauce, and they're perfect for the microwave. Vision's by Corning. And the Canon Sure Shot Supreme, with advanced features such as auto flash, extended range autofocus, and many more. Canon Sure Shot Supreme. So simple, every shot's a sure shot. And Remington, with the Remington micro screen and Lady Remington his and hers cordless rechargeable shavers. Shave as close as a blade, or you get your money back.